Hey, Jelly Roll in the studio with us, and um, man, I love your story. Uh, can you give us the? Can you give us the? The spare notes down, version. Uh, TED Talk. Yeah, no, for Jelly sure. Roll. The the fortune cookie version. Yeah. Oh, uh, the elevator pitch. So I was born right in Nashville, Tennessee, right where we're sitting right now. I'm from Antioch, Tennessee. It's a middle, lower class community right on the south side, South Nashville. Uh, I grew up to a really blue collar, hard working father. He was a meat salesman. He ran a meat company called D Ford Wholesale Meats. I'm a D Ford, obviously. Um, he also booked bets on the side, so he taught me about that nonstop hustle, baby. Uh, my, <laughs> my mother, uh, when I was younger, she's a way better now, but she struggled with like mental health and addictions. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I was the youngest of four. So I never controlled the radio. That's why I make so many different kinds of music. I was never in charge. Mm-hmm. I think at about the age of 14, I made a decision that would spend the next 12 years of my life in what we call the revolving door of the judicial system. I'm not proud of this part of my story, but it took up so much of my story that I have to speak on it. Mm-hmm. I probably did nine out of those 12 years in and out of jail, um, meaning nine in, the other three out, just in rotational form. Mm-hmm. One of the times I was out, I had got a young woman pregnant, and this was my Damascus Road experience. On May 22nd of 2008, I was at the Correction Corporations of America right here on Harding Place in South Nashville. I was in cell 223, and I've been in a 1,000 cells, but I remember this one for this reason. They knocked on that cell door and told me I'd had a daughter that day. My daughter was born, and that was my Saul to Paul moment kind of. And I was like, I'm going to go home and do anything I can not to risk my freedom to provide for this child. Like, I had a good father. I want to be a good father. And uh, I did. And I came home and started selling CDs off of spindles while I was showing my age over here. Yeah. I was hustling CDs off spindles and going to all the nightclubs around town and all the Silverados and stuff. Y'all been here a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, just kept building it, dude. I was doing 200, 200 shows a day. Dude, I would do a sh- I would open up for you back then for a pack of chewing gum and a bag of bud yep. and a gas card, yep. you know, and uh, just kept hustling and working. I guess I started in hip hop. Um Started kind of getting more soulful with the rock and southern rock influences and the country influence. And yeah. uh, we, as of today, by the way, we're number one. I got it this morning alerted. We are officially the number one song on rock radio. What? Oh, wow. It's my first number one. Yes, sir. It's called <laughs> Grand Jam Walk. And we're celebrating that today. So if you got any liquor, I'll drink it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, look over there. We have, uh, don't turn around. <laughs> Nothing makes we me can... happier than drinking before I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you've come to the right place. You certainly have. Welcome home. Yeah, so that's kind of my story in a pitch, man. It was just, you know, and uh, that same little girl is almost 14. Oh, that's Me awesome. and my wife have had full custody of her for nine years. I seen her this morning let's before go, she went to go, school. Let's go, let's go. So, yeah, that's my little homie, man. It's awesome. Um, I just realized that you – I, you know what's funny is I'm sitting there talk, so you're listening to you talk, and then I realized I haven't even really noticed your face tattoos. Well, thank you. I, like, I, I didn't even – like normally, listen. That's the first thing you would two notice. Two years ago, I would have been like, "Oh my god!" Now yeah. I don't even. I didn't even know. I don't even notice. Ain't that awesome? How far we've came as a society now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Hey, well, listen. We're gonna do this. Uh, this. Uh, this weight loss thing, and like, like we're gonna reach a goal, and like we're gonna have to get a tattoo together. Like yes. A, like a My Little Pony he tramp has stamp. No tattoos. By no the way. tattoos. No, I don't have anything. Let's go. <laughs> this will be the first one. I don't think we should start with a tramp stamp. <laughs> but you know I what I'm do. saying. I do. Could <laughs> you reconsider? <laughs> That? That's amazing. I think it would be great. As long as we don't have to get them in the same location. Yeah. I'm okay with getting the same right. tattoo. With and I'll have to decide. It's going to be strawberry shortcake. Yeah. I'm a big dude. You probably struggle with the same thing. I don't know where my tramp stamp would be. My crap goes up the middle of my back. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the weirdest thing. Uh-huh. I think, like, I have like a little. We'll talk about this, but yeah, you know what? Like, <laughs> like it, you think it ends? Yeah, no. And it comes no. right back. It's like every, I grew another every one. Every now and then, it hits my neck. It's <laughs> <not> <laughs> the weirdest thing. People hug me and can rip it open. I you know thought, it, I thought <laughs> it was your spine line, but it's not. Yeah. All right, Jelly yes. Rose with us. We're coming right back. Hang on. <laughs> hey, if you like that video, go ahead, like, subscribe, click the bell. You yeah. know, you have been told what to do. Do it.